Hey guys, welcome back to another banger review. Today, uh, we are going to be reviewing the movie Spawn. Okay, I won't do that intro anymore. Uh, hey guys, and uh, yep, yeah, today we're going to be reviewing the movie Spawn. Uh huh. So um, yeah, let's just get into this. I ended up watching it just now. I just finished it. It took me like two days to finish because man, there are a lot of problems with the mo problems with the movie. But I'm um, to be honest, I think this movie is really overhated. Okay. I think the movie's really overhated. If like, they made a remaster of this, fix all the CGI, okay, I mean all of it, not some, I mean all of it. If they fix that, get some of remaster and just, you know, focus on a plot, make it a little bit, you know, better with the plot, make, you know, the characters a little bit better, and then boom, you have a pretty good movie. And I'm going to make a disclaimer before I even start this review. I do not know uh, much about Spawn, okay? I never read the comics. I never watched a TV show. I ain't planning to watch a TV show soon, though. But I've never watched, read the comics, and the only t the only thing I know him from is uh, Mortal Kombat 11. I played him a lot, and also, of course, well, this movie. But so, yeah, so I just want to make that a quick disclaimer that I don't know much about him. So yeah, let's start off with the main story, okay? So the main story is someone named Simmons, you know, who is a military person or an FBI agent. I forgot. I, I forgot. That was like two, two days ago I watched that part. But yeah, uh, he was an FBI agent, and then, you know, of course, something had to happen, like, the person who was, he was running with, like, was, you know, making deals with the devil, and yeah, so Simmons ended up getting killed and betrayed by him, and then he comes back at Spawn, that's all I'm gonna go into, okay, I'm not gonna go into a full plot, because I actually kind of want you to watch this movie, but so yeah, also, the movie opens, like, with a terrible rock, like, music, okay, I'm not really, like, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really the biggest fan of rock, but, like, the intro just hurt in my ears, okay? And this was on TV. But, yeah, no judging, though, if you like the song. Or, like, what was it, the intro? Uh -huh. And we also, like, the intro, when that started off, I just knew that this was gonna be terrible CGI, just from the intro, uh, alone. And I was right, okay? If you look at every other part, like, of this, uh, movie, the CGI is terrible besides Spine's eyes. And sometimes the cape, cape can look good. But that's not most of the time. Um, but yeah, also like uh, Spawn's eyes, they look absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, they're they're not really that. CJ is not really that good besides Spawn's eyes and sometimes the cape. And uh, yeah, not I don't think the suit is CGI. Okay, I do not think the suit is CGI. So uh, that does not count. The suit is absolutely amazing. Okay, the suit's amazing. Okay, and uh, yeah, also like the uh, the eyes, like I already mentioned, that's my favorite part of the suit. And I don't know that, again, I don't know that much about Spawn besides MK11, but MK11 has no design, so that looks pretty good, okay? I really th like the uh, suit. So let's go over to the acting, okay? The acting, eh, it's okay, I guess. It's okay. It's not really that anything special. It's just fine, I guess. Okay, it's not, it's just basic action movie stuff. Um, but yeah, so... I think that the, I think that the acting is okay. That's a good part of it, I guess. Besides the one kid, the short blue, like the short uh, clown character, I forgot his name, but he is terribly acted. Okay, I, I hate it. I'm not sure who plays him. Like he uh, kind of reminds me of Danny DeVito, except Danny DeVito. From what I see him in Batman Returns, I don't watch that many of his movies. Uh, he seems you know like a pretty good actor. He was a pretty good actor for Penguin, but the person who was playing. Uh, the clown character, he did just did not really that good of a job, and uh, yeah, who knows that may that may be how he acts like in the uh like, in the comics or TV shows, that may be how he acts like he was just you know doing it perfectly. It's just that his character was bad, but I do not know. I'm not gonna judge any you know that really, and the characters, Spawn was a good character, even though sometimes he can be unlikable. I'm pretty sure that's a part of his character. Okay, he's not perfect, um, but so, yeah, and then next up. Like, uh, we already went about the CGI, that is absolutely abysmal, it's, it's even more, it hurts even more, cause, like, for one part of me, like, you know, the third act, okay, the third act, like, that, like, it, it, he's in hell, all that, and there's a whole bunch of minions, they're literally PS1 characters, they came out around the same time as PS1, but this is, this is, I'm pretty sure, like, was a good budget movie, and they have this kind, okay, they, they have this kind of, uh, CGI, yeah, yeah, that, that, that ain't it, um, but, uh, yeah, but uh, also, like, the uh, costume design, like I mentioned, for Spawn was good. Even the blue guy, even the, uh, the clown, I hate him. Um, but he had good costume design. But, uh, yeah, also the final shot of the movie, I think I can, I think it's, like, a love letter to fans, you know, because he, he him, uh, him on the cross, like, with his cape flowing, even though the cape is terrible. At least the last shot is, you know, Spawn, awesome costume, and him looking at the camera, showing his eyes. I think that's an amazing part. But, uh, yeah. 
that's pretty much it for, like, for the CGI, acting, uh, story, and all that. But the story, like, I think it was the story was okay. I don't think it was bad. At the same with the I think the acting was actually, you know, pretty good besides the clown character. Um, but, yeah, after this, I kind of want to get into more Spawn, like, uh, his movies, uh, his comic. I mean, not his uh, He already have a movie, but I'm talking about his, uh, his, his, you know, games, his comic books, his TV show. I kind of want to watch it. Uh, I was, like, going to, like, uh, watch the anime series, but then I was like, actually, I'm going to watch this first, and then I'm going to watch the anime series later. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, so, how would I rate it? I give, like, a, uh, I give a 6 out of 10. No, that's shocking. No, that's shocking. But I may have to new like, if you guys watch my, uh, review of Knives Out, I may have to move that out, because I don't really feel comfortable, like, uh, having, like, back the same category, like, the same rating as Spawn. Because Spawn, like, it's so bad, it's a good movie. I enjoy it. It's something that has, actually, you know, good parts. But it's mostly because I enjoy it. And, uh, yeah. I do think this movie is overhated. And, uh, well, I know a lot of people like to the CGI. A lot of people go, like, oh, this was in, like, 1997. Okay, I mean, this, like, it was in 1997. They didn't have good CGI back then. Star Wars. Superman. You know, those CGI, they could sometimes be iffy. They were not this, they were not this bad, okay? They are not this bad. Star Wars The New Hope came out in 1977. That was ten times better than this. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's basically all I got for the view. I mostly uh, started getting to Spawn because the new Spawn movie was confirmed to still be in development. I'm not sure if J- uh, Jamie Foxx is still playing Spawn and uh, Jeremy Renner is still playing the clown character. I'm not sure if that's still you know, happening because the script leak and I have not read it, but a lot of people are saying it's terrible. Um, but uh, yeah, but at least like Tom McFarlane, he's a part of it. So that, that should be interesting. Uh, rather it's good or bad, I'm going to watch it. But that's all I got for the review. Hope you enjoyed. Join me next time for next review, which is going to be Snake Guys. Okay, the July, uh, the, the one that came out this July. So this is probably going to be like the most recent movie I'm about to review. But hope you, hope you all enjoyed and peace out. Oh, and for people still here, here's a fun fact. Uh, the actor that spawned this movie played Cotton Muff, I'm pretty sure his name is, in The Dark Knight. So yeah, that's a random fun fact. Okay, that's all I got to say and see you actually this time.